This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutation viewers, Voldemort back here with another episode of Odin Sphere. Life Thras here, or I might just call it Odin Sphere HD in the future. In the last episode, we continued on to the battlefield to, uh, uh, with, uh, Rayball, or, uh, not Ringwall, whatever. Against, uh, against Rangnaval, against Ringwald, to, for, domination of, of the battlefield as well as a chance to get back the cauldron. But anyway, we continued on. Gwendolyn is trying to earn the love of her father, which apparently is keeping her... which is giving her basically a death wish. I guess we'll just have to keep fighting, although her doubts are preventing her from going all the way with the, with the death wish, but still, she still has it, because she apparently was not hugged enough as a child. I would make fun of that, but, uh, you know, some people just, that's, they're sensitive to that. You need, you need your father or mother or whatever parental figure took care of you when you were younger. You need their, your, their, uh, their love and guidance. You can't be a functional human being without it. Alright, let's see. I guess we think we've gotten all the treasures here or possible items, or at least little bits of gold, so... Yeah, we just we're just continuing on through this fight and see if we can. Uh, nice. Luckily, these guys are pretty easy, but we are at the beginning of the game still. The, the, the enemies will get harder. They'll have a lot more chances to defend themselves, so forth and so on. You know, so don't uh, don't take them too lightly. You know. Wow, that one was easy, but you know what? So yeah, we get an S. Excellent. Ooh, we got more so, some more cyclone. Uh, item. An entry that adds to the text archive. Cultivating fruit. The bosons absorbing plants of Arion can sprout in even the most desolate of lands. Theirs is the fruit of life, giving vitality to those who partake. It is the secret to longevity. If you wish to reap the benefits of the fruit, you need only find seeds and grow them for yourselves. The more nutritious the fruit, the more bosons it will require. Recommended for beginners. The mulberry bears two fruits using minimal fozons, while the muggle bear fruits bears fruit and a seed. Once you are used to the process, you can try grapes, which increase health, and napples, which are quite a popular ingredient for snacks. Napples are the best. In, uh, napples are probably the ones you're going to want to focus on near the end game because they're required for recipes and stuff like that, which will give you a lot better stats and so forth. We'll get to that when the game. Uh, sends us in that direction, but yeah, napples are very important. Ooh, a new potion, volcano. Probably used for throwing a uh, volcano explosions. An explosion of of of, of flavor. Um, okay. I don't think I think we're pretty good on experience. So I don't have to waste a uh, fruit right now. Is there any treasure chests around here? Let's see. Or not treasure, uh, just like secret uh, no things. Okay, so we want to go up first and see what's... I don't... The game doesn't show anything, but... Uh, let's uh, check it out. I guess where the map had a treasure chest in this little area. I guess not. Well, that's fine, then. That's, that's just Jim Dandy. We wasted our time. Oh, hello! Ha ha, a secret! I knew there was a treasure chest around here. And we get a new ability. A Fozon Prison. Let's see what it gives us. Oh, I cannot wait! Show us, show us! Beak Drive, Beak Drive. What the heck is that? POW, you've acquired a Cypher skill that concerns POW. POW will automatically accumulate over time. Oh, ho! Oh. Uh, multi uh, hit dash attack pierces through foes. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that yet. Can I, uh, let's see. Where is it? Wasn't there like a. That one we could activate and level up, but it wouldn't let me, uh... Maybe I have to do it on the main menu. Or not main menu, like, um... Let's see... 
I thought I thought I could uh, like on the, on that skills menu I could uh, um, set a uh... no I don't want to do that oh well I'll mess with it later but anyway we got a new ability we'll Definitely want to utilize that whenever. Yeah, this game has a lot more secrets than we expected. You didn't know to just jump up there. The only reason we knew that we had to at least explore it was the fact that we bought the map. So uh, maps can be kind of important. All right, so let's go down south. Apparently there's another item down there. All right, let's go there. Level three, huh? Oh, another midst. Oh, got you against. Oh, all right. Let's uh, do Cyclone again. That'll work. Ah, dang it. Alright. Alright, he dropped a... Uh, oh, he dropped a Toxin. I don't know what that does, but... Uh, uh, crates... Actually, let's... Oh, do we... I thought I had a volcano. Hmm. Unless I'm out of... Uh... Oh, there's there it is. Okay. Ooh. Too bad I fucking messed up there. I've got to be careful, really, when it comes to using items, you know? Yeah, sorry I'm not talking there for a second. I'm just being a bit focused, you know what I mean? Ah, come on. I wasn't even... Dang it. Come on, we could have done... Whoa! There we go. <laughs> not speeding anymore. Speeding on, uh, speeding on air. Uh, all right, yeah, we still got an S despite me taking forever to do that. Ooh, a Lux Stone. Is that a Area Master? I wonder if that's a... Ooh, what does that do? Drop item rate one... Ooh, that's pretty good. We'll want to keep that. We always want multiple item drops, so, for the future. Let's see, anything I can... Any hidden, like, little coins? Nope, all right. We got another rest stop. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, you get the trophy for uh, basically hitting all the areas in the in a level. I don't think you have to get S rank. I think you just have to hit all of them. Looks like we got another chance to talk to some uh, regular NPCs. See if we get some ideas of what's going on in this world. If there's anyone here. Oh, checkpoints. Okay. I'll allow you to uh, go back. Someone over there. Oh, a butterfly! Give me those precious photons. I might, I might use some of my fruit here pretty soon just to get some uh, levels. Oh, you're a strange I'm no trick in this war. I'm just a businessman. In this bloodstained land, the stakes are high, but the profits are higher. Well, wow. makes sense. Looks like he's about. Ooh, shield ring, huh? 5% chance to nullify damage. That's pretty good. I've got everything else, though. Do, do I actually want to buy... Uh, let me back up for a second. Was that something I could have gotten earlier? I don't see any other spots for treasure. That's so... Uh, I don't know. I do have the money. I knew oh. In this oh. Sorry. Back up. That's a... Uh, is there anything else here? Uh, okay. Right, I probably should uh, do a really quick save, really quick. 
Oh, and if you, if you leave your game on while you're trying to, like, record or stuff like that, it, it continues the total time, so my time is a little bit off there. I shouldn't be that high, but, uh... I don't know if I want to buy that. I've got enough money. I'm no I'm in this. You know what? I will. You know, I'll do it. Why not? Um. Okay. Yeah, let's go and do that. All right. Oops. Sorry. Put that shield ring. We probably could have gotten it from another area of the game, but uh, all right. and let's uh, I'll go ahead and do some plant some fruit. Ah, let's do at least one. That should be enough, right? I don't want to use all my foes lines. I just want to kind of get a couple of. Uh, In the future, I'm not gonna show me eating fruit off screen, despite how sexy it makes uh, Gwen uh, Guinevere. But uh, probably should eat one more seed just to get that level really quick. That way, it'll be kind of topped off before the boss. Okay. But yeah, I'll guess that level get a bit more, a couple more stats. And level seven. Level seven sounds about good for this area of the game. Like I said, we're at the area boss, so. Yeah, eat more. Eat those berries. Oh yeah, eat those berries. I mean, good job, Gwendolyn. All right. Uh, okay, I think we're ready to go. All right, let's encounter the boss of this area. Level three, full stars. A powerful enemy awaits ahead of you. We recommend that you save. Yeah, I know about saving. All right, I'll save it again since I did buy all those items. Hold on. The game wants me to save again. No, I could have chosen not to, but yeah, they're probably right. I did do that little bit of extra prep after saving it, so. All right, we got the, basically this will test our skills for the first area of the game, so uh, let's see if we can do it. Onward to battle and waffles. Oh wait, wrong, wrong, wrong game, world and story. I have a report, your highness. The Aesir have launched an all-out assault. They are attacking our headquarters with all their soldiers. The paladins fight valiantly, but tis only a matter of time till they are overrun. Odin, I see he risks his own life with this strategy of his. Here are your orders. Quickly, call back the troops from the front line and attack them from behind. Use everything we have. Attack from both sides and annihilate them! Our king is bestowed with divine grace. Prepare yourself, queen of the ghosts. I, King Odin's daughter Gwendolyn, shall be the one to take your life. So, you call me a ghost? The demon lord's daughter is bold indeed. <laughs> it seems that my reinforcements have arrived. It's about time, sorcerer. Your Majesty, my sincerest apologies for my tardiness. Come, Belial, my faithful dragon. Let us put this to the test. Do you still dare to speak so impudently before my mighty dragon? Oh god, Zone Sphere is pulling out all the stops. Dragon for the first boss of the game? And my god, does our art look good in this game, especially the uh, Queen of the Fairies and how she rises and holds her little, like, skirt up while she's rising. So, alright, we first fight Belial of the, uh. uh woo! Alright, let's. Did he just spit, like, a uh, ear at me? That he's from Fallen Soldiers? That's kind of funny, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not getting much in the way of combos, I admit. 
Ah, she's not me. Might as well use a potion now that I've got it. Ah! No, oh, well, that works. Alright, let's uh, throw this crap back at him. I like that. I like the fact that. Uh, ooh, he poisoned him too. Nice. Gotta be careful. I don't want to take unnecessary. Oh, ah. Uh. Okay. Uh oh. Looks like he buried himself underground. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Nope. No, we're not getting anything from that, are we? Oh, he's still poisoned too. <laughs> lucky, lucky shot. Uh oh. I don't know what that was, but that was awesome. I want that. Do we want to keep using another item? We're pretty good on damage so far, but now nah, I'll keep fighting. Yeah, we got him. Woo! Way to go, Gwendolyn. Or Guinevere. I keep calling her her sister. They look so much alike. But yeah, we we are Guinevere, Dragon Slayer. King Odin, please rejoice. The enemies are retreating. It seems that it is finally over. Have Brigand's troops hunt down any remaining enemy forces? Go, inform all our soldiers of our victory. Sound the horn, and allow them to celebrate our glory. Now, leave me. King Odin. Yes, there it is. The crystallization cauldron. The fairies have kept it hidden for so long. Oh. Do you see this mysterious light? Now it is finally mine. This power will grant me victory in any battle. What's happening? Oh no! What happened to the glow? The cauldron's light has gone out. Do you know where my father... where I may find the king? The king is with the crystallization cauldron. What? Who goes there? What are you doing here? These stupid battles all over again. Cauldron is a source of disaster. I will not allow the crystallization cauldron to be used any further. Not by you, nor by the Queen of the Fairies. Wait! Well, it looks like we've uh, defeated the dragons, but apparently our our action for going there to uh, get the crystal egg cauldron has unfortunately left us uh, high and dry as it's turned itself out due to this mysterious woman, apparently. So all that was for naught. Although apparently the Queen of the Fairies and the Demon Lord Odin apparently want to use it for some means that is not okay to that woman. I wonder what her point in all this is. And will and will Guinevere finally get the uh, adulation of her father for a job well done? She beat a dragon, for God's sakes. Please love your daughter. Please, for the love of all of the Aesir. So, will that happen? We'll, we'll find out in the next episode of Odin Sphere, Lothrasir, or HD for short. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.